Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a Can you talk bit to me about how important or maybe not important uh, the movie Colors was to Denver, Colorado? Man, this is funny, right? So, like I told you, I went to I went to junior high school with with the with the Damus. I snuck in the movie theater. It was on Colorado Boulevard in Alameda. I watched Colors with a dude named Dez Dog. Dez Dog is from Park Hill. He's actually from Oklahoma, but he's a blood from Park Hill. Desmond was a he's an original Deuce Nine. I think Desmond may be from CMG, and then Desmond then hooked up with the the CMGs in California and got quoted out there. So I think he's a blood from California now. But me and that dude went and watched Colors together. <laughs> oh, my mama, mama, I ain't playing. <laughs> but Colors was crazy. And this is funny, you brought up Colors. So maybe last week, maybe – Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't know, man. I really couldn't sleep. So, boom, I get up, come turn the TV back on, and Colors is on one of these weird little channels. I want to say it was maybe like Oxygen, some little yeah, weird little, because I got channel. a fire stick. I got a little fire stick, so I get so many different channels. Man, that thing said Colors. As soon as I clicked it on there, man, the dude was telling uh, High Top, give me some of that nasty cheese you be telling your homeboys out there. <laughs> when his eye was the size of a uh, golf ball. <laughs> Oh, man, them big old dudes was whooping that boy, <laughs> man, busting him up. But I think it it, it 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 stirred up a lot, to be honest. And I, I tell people that even to this day, not even with um, the Crips and the Bloods out here, even with the gang unit we had, because I swear gang unit, them cocksuckers used to go watch that movie and act like they was the crash unit when they come to the set the next day. On everything, we had a we had a set of gang unit officers, man. That they was new to that stuff too. It was new to them too. So they was like, some of them was really trying to get at us, like for real. I used to be like, man, them cocksuckers go home and watch Colors too, because they act like they from the crash unit <laughs> on everything. Yeah, Colors was cool though. I I, I love it. I. You know, now that I'm older and I know it's all, it was, you know, it's, 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 it, 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 hey, the Mexicans was hard. They served, yeah, <laughs> rocking it, rocking it was in there slipping. <laughs> now in here playing this loud, bogus music yeah. and stuff with bonfires <laughs> and here come, here, here come Frog and his little brother in them <laughs> with grenades and man, shit. Come on, man. It's blowing up the <laughs> spot, dog. Yeah, man. On everything. Yeah. That was funny. It's, it's funny to me now. Back then, I really didn't like it. But <laughs> like, nah, fuck I was like, man, they, that's how they did Rocket. And you know, he's from here. Don Cheadle's from Denver. I didn't you know, know that. what I'm saying? Didn't know that. On everything, Don Cheadle went to Denver High, Denver East High School. Yes, sir. Ah, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, he, and I remember seeing an interview with him, and he said he knew nothing about Crips and Bloods. He was like, everything he learned trip. was just off top. That is a trip, yeah. man. That's crazy. Yeah, that movie. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm older now, and it's just it's just funny to me because I like to see it. I like to see when them dudes whoop the old high top because them dudes hit the bleh, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> his head and <laughs> lifted his ass up, huh? Like a motherfucking yeah. rag hey, man, dude picked him up so cold. I said, ooh, wait. <sighs> Man, yeah, and then the little skinny blood dude that had the little dirty rag on his head, he the one who hit him the hardest. I said, Oh, he done oh, broke yeah. all his shit. Yeah, that was some Ooh. great sound effects, dog. I hear that shit. Yes, to this indeed. Day. <laughs> yes. like, oh, shit. God damn. That, I said, there's a couple of movies that, there's a few movies that made me never want to go to prison. That one, because of that scene, American Me. I'm sure you know what scene <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> and, South, and South Central. With man, uh, those those movies, I was like, I'm ne I'm never going to prison, dog, and I've done everything I can to to just stay stay far away, man. But yeah, man, interesting times, dog. Yeah, that good movie, dog. I would love to um to 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 you, you mentioned um uh, Mexicans, Latinos. I would love to know uh, now in Denver, there's Norteños and Sureños, right? I don't want to say. We have north side Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? I'll say that. We have the Mexicans that live on the north side. Um, we have Mexicans from the east side that they call themselves the Odies, OD 13s. 
Um, the Mexicans on the north side, I, they're, I think they're called NS, North Side Mafia or something like that. But as far as, like, south side, really, I'm not going to say Denver, but Colorado, period, because we got a bunch of different little cities, right? Like, so I'm going to say, um, which one can I say? Pueblo, I would say Pueblo. Um, maybe like Grand Junction. Not in the city so much when I say Southsiders. You know what I'm saying? Like the outside, diff, other little cities. You know what I mean? But because in the penitentiary, you damn sure run into them. So, and a lot of them don't be from Denver. The the the, the pretty much the Mexicans you're gonna run into in the penitentiary that are from like the city are either the oldies and like I said, the Northsiders and the Northsiders. They 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 get they 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 get that smoke all the time. <laughs> they they don't last. But the biggest, I would say, the, that I know of out here, honestly, growing up, the biggest Mexican gang would be, I would say, is like the GKIs. Um, I think that's the, like, gallantly, gallantly, nights insane. Um, the Inca boys, those two were like rival rivals, but I haven't heard anything about um, Incas in a long time, but um, we don't have, I would say, like a problem like L.A. really does with the um, black and Mexican thing on the streets too much. Now, on, in my neighborhood, we do have one set that beef with the Odies real tough. They go, they go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But like I would say, where I'm from, the trade trades in the 30s, we've never had a like super conflict with the Mexicans, unless we were in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? But on the streets, nah, mm. not you. at all. Okay. And then even like even like with our gang banging situation, I would say, um, because I know out there in Cali, them dudes be beefing with each other, and they live right next door. We don't. We've never had like enemies um we didn't grow up on that type of stuff but then you know certain things happen with certain cats from different neighborhoods with people from our neighborhood then that start things and then you know like we've probably had situations with every crib neighborhood that is out here but we're not like i would say they don't like us more than we don't like them you know what i'm saying like mortal enemies just because we are original east siders and I'm not disrespecting none of them that claim the West Side, but like again, we don't have West Side Crips in Denver, Colorado. No, don't know Crips hang on the West Side. It's all Mexicans and Asians. Real shit. Okay. <laughs> shit, I'm just saying. Let me ask you: um, any Midwest influence, like you know, Vice Lords? Hell no! GDs? All our stuff, all our stuff, come from California. Okay. <laughs> you know that's what I said. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? But y'all ain't harder than us because y'all started this. You know what I'm saying? We got knuckleheads out here that do the same shit y'all do. Y'all got snitches, we got snitches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I respect it started out that way, but when it come to, I don't know, what like Cuban them say, bow down, that's not going to happen here. <laughs> it's not coming from us. We're not bowing down to nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, and, and that's it. And they shouldn't either. But I don't think – I think my hood is harder than anybody else's because I'm from here. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I get it totally. But my hood ain't finna go to California and think we finna set up shop and run one of these cats' neighborhoods or, and it'd be no, it, no conflict. You know what I'm saying? We ain't ever thought that way. I know how it go. And that's too far to be going to start some trouble anyway. Shit, to be trying to come back home. Yeah, right. Kids get down Dancing underneath the street lights to the sound of the city. Hallucinations of a lonely stoner just flying by on a paper plane. The moon is dancing and the stars are all addicted to the thunderstorms and purple rain. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. 
Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace.